Hey my brothers and sisters, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, feel free to browse around. Go to my playlist. If you go on my channel, if you click on the playlist tab, you'll see different videos categorized by, you know, popular topics that I feel are the the things that most Christians will struggle with or face or encounter or challenges things of that nature. So feel free to go there if you want to binge watch on uh, specific topics. Otherwise, you're free to just enjoy my videos. So you could click the videos tab and you'll just see everything that's there that's been uploaded. All right. So listen, <laughs> I was praying to the Lord and actually conversing and the Lord showed me something. And because sometimes I get requests and even I sometimes have felt this way, like, Lord, well, not request. People will send me emails and they'll talk to me about certain things. And um, sometimes even in the threads and then things that I have experienced before. And the thing is, God, why does it feel like I have to keep asking you about, you know, certain things, right? Some of you may feel that way. It seems like you feel like the redheaded step trial. Maybe God is not hearing me because you ask God for something. And it seems like, you know, you have to keep asking him and, you know, you keep bringing it up and you're just like, Lord, what's going on or whatever. But the biggest thing is, Lord, why do I have to keep asking you over and over again for something? You know, I'm asking you for this. I'm asking you for um, whatever it is that you're going to ask the Lord for. You've been asking him for and you're like, you're getting discouraged. You're starting to feel like God is not hearing you because it feels like you have to keep asking, right? Because then you don't see it happening when you think it should happen. So you have to go and ask the Lord again. So it gives you this feeling like, why do I have to keep asking God over and over again for stuff? And I hear the Lord saying this. If you've asked me once, why do you keep asking me? If you've asked me for something, if you have made your request known to me, then why do you keep coming back to ask me about it over and over again? When you've asked me for something, you need to trust me that I am going to give you those things that you've asked for. And if I do not give you the things that you've asked for, they need to trust me to know that if I prevented you from getting this or having this thing, then there is a reason and you trust me enough to know that if I have denied you something that you have requested, then it is because it is not for you. It is not the right time or there's something I'm preventing from you. Trust me enough that I have you, your life and your well-being in the palm of my hand versus those who keep going back to God and asking him over and over again. God is saying, you don't have to keep asking me. Why do you keep coming back and asking me about something that you have already told me? God says, I have perfect memory. I knew what you're going to ask me before you asked me for it. Once you've asked me for it, then trust me. But see, another thing that the Lord is showing me is that a lot of times people are asking God for something and not checking to see God, is if, is this your will? Your prayer is like, Lord, you know, this is what I desire, but if this or if this is not your will, then Lord, please reveal that to me. Please show it to me. And listen, a lot of times when we ask God for stuff, we want him to answer us right then. <laughs> it's a natural human thing, but you need to trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not onto your own understanding in all your ways, acknowledge him and he'll direct your paths. You see, people quote that, but they don't really believe that. So that's what I hear the Lord saying. Those of you that's been getting frustrated because you keep going to ask God for something, God is saying, why do you keep asking me again about the same things? Why do you not trust me that I'm going to give you what you've desired? And why do you not trust me enough that it, if it did not come into fruition the way that you expected, that it was for your own good protection and growth? Why do you not have the childlike faith? that God has told us to have. A child, a small child, totally depends on you. They don't worry about things. You know, as they get a little bit older, they may not want to wear that shirt that you put out, but we're talking about those stages where just they just flow with you. They trust you. 
They don't worry about when you're going to make dinner, when you're going to do whatever. They just know that you're going to do it. They just The faith that you have when you put your money in the bank, the faith that you have when you drop your child off at school, that you're going to get them later. The faith that they have when you drop them off at school, that you're going to come and get them. They don't worry all day, right? So this is what the Lord has shared with me today. I pray that it will bless you. I pray that it will encourage you and it will bring you to a place to completely depend on the Lord. Be blessed.